Hi guys, it is Dimma and I'm coming with, to you with a little mini haul. Um, I went to Books A Million a couple days ago while we were in town and I got a few things I can show you. Um, the first thing I don't have with me because my mom kind of dove, like commandeered it is I got a large, about that size, fidget key with all the little switches and knobs and like different textures on it. So she was playing around with that. So it's over there, which I can't, if I find one, I will post it up here. That looks kind of like it. I know they come smaller, but this one was nice, nice size, so I got that. It was $9.99. Also, I got a bunch of pins, like the one inch pins, to go on my Eda bag, which I've already put on my Eda bag, so I'm going to do that in its own video. Um, so I got some, there was a four pack of iZombie buttons, or pins, I got that, then like a few cat ones, a platypus one, um, the Death Eaters symbol, I think that was it, most of them were cats, so I will show those at a later video, um, showing off my Eater bag it's almost done <laughs> and it's not like a specific fandom it's all of my fandoms and all things that I like just pins that I like so people some people say it's not a true eater bag it's just it's another type of bag that I don't I can't remember what it was called but the person listed it as an eater bag on Etsy that's what I'm calling it so just because it's not an anime fandom bag or that it's not just one fandom it's still in the bag of me. Um, but I got a few more things. So the first thing I got is this hecka cute little Beauty and the Beast Funko Pop pin. It does write black and it writes really good. So I'll show you. It writes really good, really smooth. Only thing bad is it doesn't have like a cap at the bottom, but that's fine. Um, they had Belle, Ariel, Ursula, and there was one more. I cannot remember who, but there was five total there, four ninety nine dollars a piece. I almost got Belle too, but I was like, I'll just get the beast because I really like these little cute beasts. See, I'm so cute and adorable. Rawr. And right next door to Books and Lane was PetSmart. So I went in there and ended up getting my parents' dog, Charlie. The Chihuahua. He, for some reason, he's our, the newest one they got. He expects me to bring him something home every time I come out. So they happen to have toys on clearance, like to go. So I got him a few toys, or a couple of toys, I should say. Um, the second thing I got at Books a Million, which the box has already been bitten, is the Books a Million exclusive Punk Funko Pop. Gold, glitter, Mr. Gold, rumple silk skin. So, they had Zelina, which is the only other one I want. Um, especially since she's not coming back next season. But, as you can see, they've already nibbled it. Like I said, packaging on these isn't really important to me because I'm going to... I've been, I found the shelf, now I have to just buy it and put it up. Um, and get to that. And I'll probably take a lot of them out. Because a lot of their boxes have been chewed up or scratched. Gotta love cats. <laughs> um, let's see what else have we got in here. Oh, that's just my planner. And that, I didn't get this at Books Lane, but I took this with me because we were doing my son's disability appeal thing through SSI. So, but I was drawing, so I drew, I don't know if it'll show up, Kelly Eden with her Sephiroth husbando and I got her little pug, to not pug, palm raining Toshi there. Um, I ordered my inking pins. Uh, they should be here next week. I really started picking up drawing again and then I drew my OC which is Teach, which is the cat girl, which I've had her since before I even knew anime was a thing. She's got blue hair, big ears. Um, and an old friend of mine from Deviant Art, Crater Fox, his persona um, in here. So. 
I'm trying. I we just really love to draw a lot. So trying to get back into it. And then I got a bookmark, which is really pretty. Which was this Beauty and the Beast one. They had a whole little Beauty and the Beast display because the movie comes out this week. I already have it on pre-order and it shipped out a couple of days ago. I should be getting it on the 7th. So, and what's nice about the pre-order Target, because I got mine from Target, it's exclusive. It comes in a storybook like the Moana one did. So I thought that was pretty cool, so that's why I went there. And then, I didn't get this at Books a Million, but I got, I picked, it came in the mail the same day. It was Smoke Gets In Your Eyes. And other lessons from the crematory by Caitlin Dowdy. Now, if you don't know her name, her she's actually got a YouTube channel. It's an amazing, funny um, YouTube channel called Ask a Mortician. She talks about death and traditions and just overall normalizing death, which everybody thinks is like so taboo. Like my parents, when I talk about it, they're like, okay. Why are you so fascinated? Well, you can just see why, like, you're weird. Stop talking about that. But, um, she basically is very respectful the way she talks about it. It's a very funny book so far. Ask a mortician, she's very, very interesting. The first video I happened to see was, um, about Titanic's dead, what happened to the dead bodies and all that. So, that kind of led me into her channel, and I started binge watching all of her videos. She does one about Will your cats or dogs, who's going to be the first to eat you if you die at home alone? Which is more than likely going to be your dog because they're going to nip at you and bite you to see if that'll wake you up. And it's more of like an anxiety thing for them. Um, and the cats just don't care until they get like hungry, hungry, hungry. And they'll go for it, but they might nibble on you. But it's funny videos like that. Like I said, she's very respectful, very comedic, and I'll link her channel below or I'll put it at the end so you can just click it. Um, but anyway, Ask a Mortician is the channel name. And that was all I got from Books a Million and Pet Summer. Like I said, a couple of toys. One was a fox and one was a cat. One had like a little ring, a rope ring on it so he could carry it around. So, anyway going to record a couple more videos so I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.